Paul 1-6 is now live. Streaming life is strange, true colors, life is strange true colors play through hyphen episode 2. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before. Till he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood, like, three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people. But I only remember him. And then he said, I know! <laughs> That's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh. Then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. <clears throat> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe? was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. 
You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister. Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son... When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? It. Wait's over. Everyone, out! Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure.
you play guitar? Yeah, well, sort of. I used to. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? He actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. I wonder how she's really holding up. Foosball champion? Why would that make her so sad? what's really going on with Steph. Damn it! Fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww. <laughs> Is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I moved to Denver. 
next week. You what? Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? drums how uh, how long did you play with them <sighs> too long gotcha Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, Playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. <laughs> I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering.
Oh, yes! <laughs> Let's do one more game. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would never let a tie stand. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it, for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I'll date anybody. Assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Who's what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? person. Thanks, Jed.
would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. To start. Cape really meant the world to Steph. At least I got to have a few good moments. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. I'll toss those soon, I swear. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? No birds today. Gabe really loved this place. Gabe was such a dad. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. I thought this was going to be the one, finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you, completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. 
then you died. Then I don't know what to believe now. Except you're gone again. And I'm still here. Alone. I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door, and the one upstairs. This is your home now. 
for as long as you'd like. As long as I like? Really? I don't want to make any assumptions or put any pressure on you about what to do next, but you're always welcome. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I have no idea what to even say to him.
I feel sick. an incredible mom and I decided I wanted to be a ranger she was the first person I told she said she said you're exactly what these mountains need bye mom Losing someone like that, I guess you never get used to it. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. I wish we'd had more time. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. Gabe Chen, smooth criminal. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Maybe I should put this downstairs. So long, depression food. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin?
I could add this to Gabe's table. Sorry I didn't play along, Gabe. Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. You're coming downstairs. This is perfect for the memory table. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. If I never saw mining equipment ever again, it'd be too soon. Is that Jed without his beard? No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. RM and TB. I wonder who they were.
Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. They look happy together. That's my late wife in that photo. Not a day goes by that I don't miss her. But these last few, they've been hard. I can imagine. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah, that'd be good. appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check like right now. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Okay, this is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. Gate was 
too young. Just too young. Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. The park looks fun to explore. I always figured mining was dangerous, but damn. At least back then, the only people dying in mining accidents were miners. The park looks fun to explore. This location gets all the foot traffic. And word around the water cooler is, the mining company is about to expand. Oh, customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. I'm a little spooked. If Typhoon goes under... Oh, customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. It's very unlikely that anything with Typhoon will change. They've been the largest employer in Haven for decades. Nothing says festive, like three exclamation points. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. Do you want to do something together next week? Sure. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. Uh, maybe? Could we get dinner for I tell him I like him. We'll date, and then we'll break up. And then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. Might be a good time to check out- If I tell him I like him, we'll date- and then we'll break up. And then I'll lose my best friend. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Yeah, I usually grab a bite with Katie. You should cut. Sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Judd said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. 
How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Is he all right? He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. How big are we talking? It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. She said it's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. Same. But Gabe would understand. She said it's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like works of art that I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive.
I'm going to figure out why Max lying. God, put some clothes on. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. I could totally paint that. I just don't want to. These are my kind of discounts. A little steep, but can you really put a price on a kid's dreams? Nice contribution, Gabe. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. Blows my mind that Charlotte's been run. God, put some clothes on. There's something you don't see in Portland. I really love Charlotte's style. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere. And THC is way better at treating it when you're also tapping the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? I hope these helped a little, Gabe. I hope these helped a little, Gabe. These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Gene out of business. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? I'm always here for you if you need anything. Thanks. Back at you. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac.
Sorry about today. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes. We're all suffering here. I think the trails will be closed for a while. Someone died up in the ravine a few days ago. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a waste. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Oh. It's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. Oh. It's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. If we only open three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. We're losing our business. But it's like, everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Things will get back to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. Hope they figure it out. How do those words taste? Not like peaches. We should push the rum... Nothing says festive, like three exclamation points. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Well, we can try again when I come out with Mom and Dad for the 4th of July. Yeah, that'd be good. One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. Wind chimes. The original jam band. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. The park looks fun to explore. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. Yeah, he looked rough. I didn't talk to him. I wasn't really sure what to say. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. Was it on the news? No, no one's been... I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that.
The park looks fun to explore. Where are you hiding, my feathered friend? Please, I need you. Is she looking for... a bird? Maybe I'll keep an ear out. I feel like there's a lesson here about love leaving a mark on the world. But I'm not in the fucking mood. You're writing a novel? What if I die tomorrow? And just like that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. This is great. We wanted to take a class together, right? Let's do creative writing. But that wouldn't start until summer. This is cool. In a wicker man sort of way. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Do you want to talk about it? I'm fine. Okay, definitely not fine. I'm here for you whenever you need me. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Awful. He was so young. He must be reading about Gabe. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf, but never had the chance to find out? Probably for the best, honestly. Might be our feathered friend. I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my binocular friend know. There's a huge bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. Oh, sorry. You're fine. Why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. That fight 
Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong... Why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, Scared, he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. I think she just wants me to end up happy. Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear.
It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Yikes. Play membership. No, I, I said cancel. Cancel! Not transfer, cancel! Representative. I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. Representative! A person. I just... Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. You buy your chicken coop? No, I couldn't. I spent... Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Chapter 8 viewers on cut. Dot lie slash yes. ja ja gef w. Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my are, memories fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. She can't, she can't find, out. find out. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free.
How does she hide all of this? I feel, I feel broken. broken. Doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, make this, place. Me close this place. Holy shit. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. I... I want to help. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this.
You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Did you trim these flowers today? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. I wonder who called. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. You'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God, she doesn't remember. They were... 
They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I... missed it. I'm so sorry. Hey, it's um... Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. I've definitely lived in uglier places. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. I hope it's good news. That must have been a different time. I should get an emotional support dog, but like, per that guy is still bad to the gnome. Oh God, they're multiplying. Okay, this shirt rules. Is it Riley's? What do you want? You want to make fun of me, too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's... First of all, we got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's... Ugh. God. Way to take the bait, Rai. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I would really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. Poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. I should get back to finding Mac. Great things have small beginnings, or something. To help fill the gaping void inside, we offer you our condolences in the form of this mass-produced card.
Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Can't hide from me forever, Mac. I'm so fucked. Fuck. Here we go. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe, too? I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. If I could just... Push him over the edge. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. Your ex girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <laughs> Leave me alone!
deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. I saw Mac run down that alley. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm so close to getting the truth. Can't turn back now. It should have been you instead. Alex? I know you didn't mean for Gabe to get hurt, but you screwed up and it's time to come clean. I'm not the reason he's dead! Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. Whatever you think you know. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. 
I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter! I keep... Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. 
worse than worthless. You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Forgive. Gabe loved you, Brian. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something that makes you so angry, you just want to scream. You really focus until you feel it. the wasted potential. You're angry for me, for Ethan and Charlotte, for everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time, Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, 
Don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? together. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't going to stop you. Gabe, Goose. I see <laughs> it. It'll move. <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well... They are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> How? There's... Something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me, and I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with... with me? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You're a literal wizard. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... that was... pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. 
someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Hug. Hug. Okay, then. Team up. Do the buddy cop thing. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, Chen, but you get results. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I love you, Gabe.
chapter eek viewers on dawsondetailers.com slash k8 tons 8. Chapter eek viewers on dawsondetailers.com slash k8 tons 8.